besties and welcome to my youtube channel Deja Nicole so in today's video I will be showing y'all the things that I'm going to eat today so this is a what I eat in a day type video I did this like a year ago maybe almost two years ago on my channel but this is going to be different because I am actually cooking in this video plus I'm gonna show some recipes that I made up that you can probably try which will be on the screen while I'm cooking it and also in the comments and also in the description so if you want to try these meals you can try it yourself of course I'm going to make coffee in a few minutes because it's the morning and it's 10 35 at the moment so I'm eating breakfast kind of late but I'm gonna show y'all everything that I eat in a day so breakfast lunch and dinner plus snacks a juice because I'm planning to use my juicer and juice and make me a juice for the week or a couple of days it just depends on how long it lasts but I am planning to juice in this video and make me a smoothie because I have not made a smoothie within weeks now so yeah, but I'm going to make breakfast first, and for breakfast, I'm going to make a, a waffle breakfast sandwich. So I only called it a breakfast sandwich, and why it's called a waffle breakfast sandwich, because I'm using egg, sausage, and two waffles to make it a sandwich. But I'm going to show you what I use, and especially if you are allergic to eggs or vegan, this is for you because... I have a good alternative for people who are allergic to eggs and they don't know what to use so yeah but let's just get into this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe but first I'm going to make my coffee so I make my coffee before I cook so it can cool down before I make my iced coffee because I'm an iced coffee type of girl so we're going to make my coffee I'm going to tell you everything I use in my coffee so if you want to make your coffee this way you can so yeah but let's just get into this video besties don't forget to like comment and subscribe this video will either be out on Friday or Sunday I don't know yet because I am recording a nighttime routine tomorrow plus <clears throat> I'm recording another 24 hour reading challenge on my channel tomorrow as well so but that video won't be back like won't be out not back but won't be out until next week or the week after next but this video will be either out on Friday or on Sunday so yeah it just depends on how long I edit this video because I got like more videos to edit plus a podcast and some guided meditations to edit for next week i'm a busy gal and i'm on spring break so i'm trying to get some content in for this week plus some short form content to edit to post this week and next week so yeah but let's just get into this video besties and let's go to my coffee machine and make my coffee
so this is my plate it doesn't look like the most aesthetically pleasing plate but i'm gonna show y'all and if you follow me on instagram y'all will see too like the day that i'm filming this so tuesday the 5th of march but i made a breakfast sandwich using two waffles i recommend you having the waffles kind of slightly burnt a little so it can like be hard and not soggy then i made some eggs these are vegan eggs just eggs if you are a vegan or if you don't like eggs by the taste or if you're allergic to eggs i do recommend getting just eggs they taste exactly like eggs and the seasonings that i put in the eggs were onion powder garlic powder oregano and salt and pepper and then i have sausages there then i made me an iced coffee so i made it with the vanilla starbucks k-pod then i used both almond milk and a caramel not caramel caramel brulee creamer by silk and then i use silk almond milk and then what i did with my creamer and almond milk i like to blend them together then froth it so it looks like a cold foam a little so yeah i'm so happy i got a froth because that that reason right there but that is my coffee and of course i do have some water in my stanley i drank some this morning and i have to fill it up after i finish this first cup but this is my breakfast kind of late but it will last me until lunchtime. so y'all gonna watch me eat and watch a movie i am watching 365 days so i'm watching that on netflix but um yeah and of course like i said i will have everything that i use on the screen also in the comments and description box down below so yeah so if you want to if you want to like make this breakfast or this coffee you have the recipes so yeah and with the seasonings i actually measure by eye then actually using like tablespoons and all that or teaspoons so uh, yeah, but that is my breakfast. lunch i'm actually going to make homemade fries which is actually something small for lunch but also fulfilling at the same time because potatoes is a starch and it can keep you full for amount of hours i feel like for me but after like between 4 30 and 5 or 5 to 5 30 before i eat dinner i am planning to make a smoothie and juice so y'all will see that but i'm about to make some fries i have my potatoes on my dresser so i'm gonna wash them and then y'all gonna see me doing the washing letting them soak in the in water for 30 minutes max that's why so when you're making like homemade fries soak your potatoes in water for 30 minutes so it can remove all this extra like starch 
to it then i'm going to air fry them and they're so good they're so crispy they they technically potato wedges like you would get from like a deli from like the grocery stores like publix and walmart but they serve like a type of fries and they're so good they're so crispy and with some ketchup to dip or like orange it's so perfect like just so perfect and especially that i make them with different seasonings than just salt and pepper so yeah and i was gonna make them spicy i might make them a little bit spicy but let's just go make these fries and i think i'm going to combine my seasonings together and just sprinkle them on there so they can have a good amount of seasoning on each fry but let's just get on to the kitchen to make me some potato wedges slash fries and of course like i said i'll have everything that i use from seasonings how long did i put it in the oven slash air fryer and well it's a toaster oven slash air fryer how long i put it in there and everything should you use oil i use oil just because it will stick so i do recommend to use oil when you're making these so they don't stick to aluminum foil but let's just get into this video into this cooking and yeah so i really do hope that you get some type of like inspirations on what you want to make for yourself or if you have kids and i feel like <coughs> making homemade french fries are actually healthy plus if you don't know how to cook and you're learning how to cook this is like the most easiest food ever i learned how to make them like years ago and it's like comfort like i'm not a big french fries type of person besides like waffle fries or the fries from zaxby's but waffle fries from like chick-fil-a i have to like think what the heck i was about to say but waffle fries from chick-fil-a or like the crinkly fries i'm like i don't like burger king fries because they taste nasty the grease is the oil that they use is nasty it's like days old oil i don't like mcdonald's fries but i will tolerate them i get like a small or a medium if i'm hungry but i don't like them because they have a lot of a lot of salt I don't I do add salt to my fries but I don't add a lot just because I am someone who has heart disease and a lot of sodium is bad so I like making fries sometimes if it's frozen I'll put them in the oven and just snack on them but yeah and I also like curly fries so yeah but I'm going to go wash these potatoes you're going to see me prep and everything and then I come back to finish the prepping process of these fries and yeah but like i said everything would be on the screen the description box and in the comments pinned for this video okay besties okay
Okay, besties, so this is my late lunch, but I just have some homemade fries. Like I said, I'll have every ingredient, and I'm going to make it in this video. You're going to see me how I made this in the video. And let me know down in the comments, are you someone who likes to dip your fries in ketchup? Or just put the ketchup all over the place? Or do you even like ketchup? I'm kind of both, but this is what my plate looks like. And then I have a poppy. This is my last poppy. I need to buy more. This is the raspberry rose and it's so freaking good i used to be an olipop girly but i think i'm a poppy girly because these are way better than olipop just because it doesn't mess up with my stomach if you know you know but i got me a poppy and i got my water here but i am about to finish watching 365 days or watch some of it i don't think i will finish it while eating my fries but this is what my plate looks like and like i said again the directions of each the ingredients and everything on how the recipe that's the word the recipe of everything will be on the screen while i'm cooking it and in the comments pinned and also 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 on the screen um in the description box down below I said it's on the screen, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's so freaking good. It's so delicious. And yeah, so I'm going to enjoy these. And I have gotten a DM on how I made this. This is a very healthy option, especially if you don't want to like buy the frozen fries from the store. Just get some rusty, rustic, rust or potatoes, any type of potatoes. But I think this is like the rust potatoes that I use so the brown potatoes that everyone makes baked potato out of and I cut them up you're gonna see me struggling cutting those potatoes but I did it and voila but I'm going to enjoy my little late lunch it is 6 16 right now but um yeah and then probably in an hour or two around 7 30 to 8 I'm gonna start making dinner because this is it's fulfilling but it's going to keep me full at least for an hour so yeah
Hey besties, so this is my last meal. This is my dinner. It was supposed to be shrimp and what else? Asparagus, but I didn't feel like making the asparagus, so I just made some ramen noodles. So how I made it is I actually had to get the cup of noodles, pour out every seasoning, those in it in the vegetables, and just put water in the noodles. But before I put the water in the noodles, I warmed up the water in the microwave for like three minutes. And I put all the seasonings that I want for this ramen noodle. Now, after that, of course, I made the shrimp with all the same seasonings as the noodles added with Cajun seasoning. Then I took the noodles, put it in this bowl, put the shrimp, put it in this bowl. And I also put some low sodium soy sauce to add some saltiness. So that's why the broth is like black but um yeah but it's actually good and there's seasoning on the noodles like and you can like um so don't come in the comments i just wanted to like make a comfort food but also healthy i was gonna add broccoli but i just was i'm just really tired and i was like i just want to eat and then get ready for bed and go to sleep because i'm gonna wake up early tomorrow morning to do some things for my podcast youtube channel and some content and start my 24 hour reading challenge that i'm doing for next week so yeah but this is what i have for dinner plus with my water so i'm going to eat this and i did try it and it's actually pretty good so like i said everything that i use will be on the screen in the description box down below and in the pinned comments so let's just eat dinner and then i'll close up today's video I really hope that you like this video of what I eat in a day. It is 10.43. I just finished my noodles not so long ago, but I'm about to go to bed. I'm going to get ready and then go to bed. I'm kind of tired, so yeah. But I really do hope that you like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Also, comment <coughs> and subscribe. And like I said, all the recipes will be in the description and pinned down below in the comments and also throughout the video. So if you want to try any of these recipes, let me know down in the comments or DM me or just share it on your Instagram story. My social media will be here on the screen somewhere and also in the description box down below. I really do hope that you like this video. I'm so sorry that I did not make a smoothie or juice that is something that i really wanted to show y'all but i think i'm gonna put those in a reel in tiktok in the future maybe make one probably next week just because i did eat kind of late throughout the day so yeah but i did show you how i made my coffee and stuff so yeah but don't forget to like <clears throat> oh my gosh but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Tomorrow I gotta wake up early to do this 24 hour challenge. Plus some things from my podcast. So I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next video.